And welcome to Pure Adrenaline Fantasy Sports. I'm John. Uh, with me again is Sean. Sean, how are you? I'm good, John. Good. Uh, getting ready for the NFL playoffs here this weekend with this super wild card weekend, I believe they're calling it. Mm-hmm. Um, two two games Saturday, three Sunday, and then I believe for the first time a Monday night playoff game. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So um, out of the out of the weekend's matchups, uh, who who you like in this week? Uh, I like the two division rubber match lineups. You got the Cardinals and the Rams on Monday night. Um, and then you got on the Bills and the Patriots, I believe, Saturday night. Yeah. So I think it'll be interesting to see. You got two teams that know each other a lot. They played each other twice for the division. So what kind of matchup comes about? Yeah, agreed. Uh, those are my two favorite matchups of the weekend as well. Um, so we just wanted to do a quick video here uh, and uh, put it on record on who we thought and and what our uh, predictions are for the playoffs. How about we do, uh, before we start making our picks here, how about we make this our, uh, our, our, usual, our usual sports bet? Yeah, that fine works for me. Okay, I, sounds, anything sounds, that I can beat you in. Okay, sounds good. Um, so let's let's do this. I'll let you go first. We'll start with the Bills and Patriots. Um, who who do you think wins this matchup? I like the I like the Patriots. I do. Like Patriots I think here. I think I think they go in and I think they upset the Bills. Honestly, um, okay. I okay. I just think that's the upset of the weekend. Okay, got you. Um, I I actually like the Bills in this matchup. Um, uh, not only being home, uh, but I I think that first the first time they played and. New England beat them up pretty good. I think that pissed them off, um, and I, I think I think uh, they do have the number one defense in the league, and uh, defense wins championships. And I think I think they'll definitely win uh, the the first matchup of the week, or or the first our first game here. Um, but then we have um, the Raiders Bengals in the AFC. Um, I I, you, you, I think you go with the home team on here. It's the Bengals. You know, yeah. Honestly, it's hard to pick against them. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. I like the Bengals. Oh, let me switch it over to mine. I, I like the Bengals as well um, in this matchup. Um, I just think, I, I don't know. I think the Raiders put so much emphasis into into winning the last two games that um, they're, they're going to face a, a team yeah, they, where, I, I mean, the, uh, Cincinnati's got so many weapons. Um, you know, who, who, who are you going to stop and – you know. Yeah, that and the Raiders are—they're so defeated now, putting everything on the line for two weeks, and and then with the Chiefs Steelers, I mean, I think the Chiefs win this by three touchdowns almost, but mm-hmm. I wouldn't sleep on them with the Steelers, knowing that they played them earlier in the year and they lost big, so now they have some yeah. tape evidence on what they need to do to beat them. Yeah, I agree with you here. I would not be surprised if the Steelers were somehow to keep this game close and maybe even upset Kansas City. But uh, in the end, I do believe Kansas City wins this game um, as well. Um, before we move over to the NFC, uh, what, what, do you, what are you thinking of those? Uh, I, I Don't give me your winners yet, but uh, we right now we have Titans-Bengals and Chiefs-Bills. Well, that's for you. I got oh, sorry. a different – I got a different matchup going there. I got Chiefs, you, Bengals, and Titans, Patriots, and I'm liking well, those odds. Yeah, actually, that's uh, that's good. But let's go over to the NFC here. Uh, we'll do the NFC uh, once again. I'll let you go first. We got the 49ers and Cowboys. Um, who do you like here? Upset of the weekend: 49ers win against the Cowboys in Dallas. And, and what? Why? Why do you? Why do you? What's What's your basis of that? Just the defense for the 49ers, I think, is going to be able to keep up with CD Lamb and stop the running game of Zeke and Pollard enough that it, it forces Dak into a few turnovers even. And the 49ers, I think, just – they just beat the Rams. They're on a high right now, and they've been playing great all year, and they know how to control games. I think if they can get a lead, unlike when they played Tennessee on Thursday Night Football and they lost that 10, 10 nothing lead there mm-hmm. and didn't do anything in the second half, I think they can control this game in the playoffs and being in Dallas. Yeah, I – uh, I do. It wouldn't surprise me if San Francisco won this game, uh, but I think I think Dallas is going to win at home. Um, I don't know. Um, is this would this be Dak Prescott's first playoff win? Um, I believe it would be his second. I think oh, they won. Okay. I think they won a few years ago with him as a rookie. So let's go over uh, to the Cardinals Rams, uh, the Monday night game. 
Uh, who do you like here? I like the Rams. I think they win with no problems there. I don't think the Cardinals have enough weapons on offense unless DeAndre Hopkins is back and Edmonds and Connor are both healthy. I don't think Murray has enough to keep that, that team in. Yeah, agreed. I, I, I like the Rams at home as well. Um, setting up um, for the last matchup here in the bracket, the Buccaneers and Eagles. I don't think you can go against Tom Brady in the wild card weekend. I don't think Tom Brady loses to the Eagles in Tampa Bay opening weekend. Yeah, um, I agree with you. Um, I think Tampa Bay will win at home. Um, let me get yours in there. Um, and then, but it, honestly, for some reason, it would not surprise me if somehow Philadelphia was able to pull off an upset here. Yeah, they're going to need some help on their defense. I think they have to get a couple turnovers to kind of keep them in the game and shorten the field. If they got to go full 75 plus yard drives and one drive after another, I don't think they have enough to keep up with Tom Brady. Yeah, agreed. Um, coming over uh, back to your matchups here in the AFC, we have New England facing Tennessee. Um, who, do you, who do you like here and why? I'll take Titans on this one. I think just the uh, Ten, the pressure of possibly playing in Tennessee for Mac Jones, I think that'll pull put up uh, Titans in for the AFC Championship. Um, I just don't think that unless the Patriots can get Tannehill enough turnovers, that they'll be able to stop them or Derrick Henry. Yeah. Um, so I have I have the Bengals and Titans um, here in this matchup. And uh, depending on what happens, I still don't know have an official word on Derrick Henry. If Derrick Henry plays, I have Tennessee winning this game. If Derrick Henry doesn't play, I have Cincinnati winning this game. But so far, I'm gonna. It looks like he's gonna play, so I'm gonna pick Tennessee here. Uh, but then we have you coming back to you with the Bengals and Chiefs. See, uh, Chiefs win this one. They win the rematch in Kansas City. I think that they learned from the first round about that it was a. Uh, kind of a back-and-forth game in the second half that they lost to the Bengals. I think this time around the defense stands up and they beat the Bengals. Yeah, uh, coming back to me, I actually, uh, I believe defense wins championships, um, and I think they're putting it together um, at the right time. I have Buffalo winning this game. Um, it's going to be a tough task going into Arrowhead um, <clears throat> and, and pulling off uh, that win against uh, Kansas City and Mahomes. Um, but um, I'm, I'm sticking with that pick. Um, let's let's see. Uh, you have, if we keep it going, you have the 49ers going in the Lambeau. Uh, what, what do you like here? I like the Packers. I think the Packers win this game with no problem. I think the Packers, regardless, are winning whoever they face the first time around in Green Bay. With the fans being back, it's going to be cold in Green Bay, Even maybe even have a snow game. Yeah, could be. Um, my first my my matchup there is the Rams and Packers. Um, and if that's the case, um, I'm going. I'm going with they have they have a good offense um, and a great defense. Uh, I'm going with the Rams with the upset. Uh, over yeah, that, Green that, Bay. that would be an upset for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but then uh, you have the Rams and Buccaneers. I like the Rams in this matchup. They beat them the first time around. I think they redo it again, and they beat them the second time around. Setting up a Rams-Packers um, NFC Championship game, um, and I have um, I have the Buccaneers uh, beating the Cowboys, uh, setting up a Rams-Bucks game. Um, so let's see who you have for the AFC. Uh, you have the Chiefs and Titans. Um, who think, you like? Think- who you liking and why? I think the Chiefs win. I just don't think Mahomes is going to be able to get stopped going back for his third straight Super Bowl. Yeah. The, Titan, uh, the Titans don't have enough on offense to get uh, for firepower enough mm-hmm. to keep them in the game, and their defense is so inconsistent. Even being the home team, I think the Chiefs go in there and beat them in Tennessee. Yeah, I could see that happening as well with your picks here. Um, actually, well, uh, let's do Super Bowl matchups. I'll let you pick your Rams-Packers game as well. Packers. 
Packers at home. The, the, the year that the NFC Championship finally gets claimed in Green Bay by Green Bay. And, and I actually, think. I believe uh, Green Bay and Kansas City, I believe that would be a rematch of Super Bowl One. I, I believe. I believe so. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that that's not uh, – I could see that happening. Um, but mine, I have, um, like you, I have Tennessee losing this matchup. Uh, but I have Buffalo going into the Super Bowl. And I believe Buffalo uh, will be playing the Rams in the Super Bowl. Um, I, I really like that. I think Tom Brady's uh, shot at another championship comes to an end here. Um, what, do, what, do, what do you think? Of, what do you think of my matchup uh, for the Super Bowl? And I think, I'll let you know you, what I think of yours. You got a couple of long shots there, but I think it could happen, especially mm-hmm. with the Rams. I think the Bills they got a tougher road with a lot of tough teams ahead of them. I think they got to survive week one, obviously the wild card weekend with the Patriots. And then from there, who they play and how the dominoes all fall, they're going to have a lot of road matchups possibly on the way to making the Super Bowl. Yeah. uh, Agreed here. So uh, let's, let's go to you. Uh, You have green Bay and Kansas city um, in the Super Bowl. uh, And who do you have as a Super Bowl winner? I'm going to stick with, the way that the championships have been going this year, a lot of droughts have been ending with a lot of teams. So for that, I think the Green Bay Packers host the Lombardi Trophy in LA. And, and if if that were to happen, do you think there's what, what do you think the chances of Aaron Rodgers retiring would be? He stays two, he three stays. more years. I think he wants to. He, I think as long as they make it to the Super Bowl, regardless what happens, I think he wants to just be able to say he hosted another NFC championship and won at the time. Gotcha. And then coming back over to mine, I have the Rams and Bills in the Super Bowl. Um, I have I uh, when I became a fan um, uh, back in the eighties, uh, Denver was good. Uh, Buffalo went to four straight Super Bowls and lost all four. Uh, but that ends here. I have the Buffalo Bills as a Jets fan. That hurts to say. I have the Bills winning the Super Bowl. Um, but um, I just think uh, their defense is good enough uh, to carry them uh, to the to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl. You have the Rams losing their own Super Bowl at home. I do. I do. <laughs> it'll it'll be like a Chargers game. They'll be outnumbered <laughs> by the fan base. They'll be outnumbered. So, but yeah. no, I I I just think I think it's going to be a lot of tough matchups. I really do in the AFC for the fact that a lot of games could be decided by decided by weather. Right. If agreed. Depending, with Green Bay and Tennessee could have possibility of any kind of chance of snow or anything like that. And depending on how the AFC goes, you could have even the Chiefs playing possibly in a snow game. With the mm-hmm. NFC, obviously only the Packers are a team that could possibly host any kind of right. game in cold weather that isn't in a, either Florida or in a dome. Right. So for that aspect, I think weather is going to decide a lot of games. And whoever plays Green Bay in their first round in divisional – I think that's going to play a lot with weather and the fans being back. I think that will decide how the games go because Aaron Rodgers loves having his cold games. He's always proven that he can play it and do good. And I think anybody that plays them, I think, is going to have a tough road knowing that the fans are going to be loud. It's going to be cold. And who's going to be able to go in there and beat them in that kind of weather when Aaron Rodgers is known for playing great in that kind of weather? Yeah, and looking at looking at your matchups here, I I could actually see the playoffs happening exactly like that. Um, may, may, uh, I don't know about the 49ers and Cowboys, but the rest the rest of uh, your games look look like they can happen. I did take a little bit of a, a longer gamble here on some of my games, but I, you never know. That's that's yeah. why they play the game. Yep, you gotta take the rest to win the game. So um, this was our our. Uh, Uh, playoff preview here Um, so guys enjoy the game over the weekend uh, a full weekend um, of of playoff games and then Monday night Um, Sean anything before we head out yeah good luck to good luck to anyone's teams that are in the playoffs obviously Mm -hmm. hopefully your team gets to either bring home another title if you're the Bucks fan or a Chiefs fan in recent years 
and Eagles. Or if you're a team that's a Bengals fan, hopefully your team gets to have that first playoff win since 1991. Um, so hopefully good luck to your teams and hopefully that you end up surviving wild, super wild card weekend and you enter into the divisional round knowing who you play. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, good luck, everyone. Uh, plenty of content coming um, in the off season. Um, we're going to look at uh, some mock drafts uh, for the NFL. We're going to do some uh, review videos, um, how, how our projections did against uh, the actual stats. Uh, okay. Then we're going to go team by team, uh, seeing how their off season looks, how their uh, salary cap look. And of course, their draft picks. So uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, the notification bell, so you know when we post the video. And uh, thanks a lot for supporting the channel. And we'll see you next time. See you guys later.